morning, Lion Hearts. How are you today? No Joski. Joss spent the night last night over at Pollyanna's house. Everything that went on yesterday, and we just I just couldn't figure out what time I was going to get done. And then when I got done, it wasn't going to be convenient to pick him up with them. So ja got a slumber party, and Jaw's going to get dropped off here pretty soon. I'm really excited about doing today's vlog. Today's vlog, you might see a lot of people you recognize. Because what's happening today is actually, well, let me take the story back a little bit. When I first moved out to California, I didn't have cable. And so I would only pretty much watch what was on regular TV. And that pretty much just consisted of the major cable news networks type stations. Like the, it was like basically Fox, ABC, CBS, and NBC, I think, when I moved out here on my regular TV. And on Sundays, they would show this crazy older guy that always wore like a Hawaiian shirt, always had a microphone, always had sunglasses, always had his hair slicked back, kind of like somebody else you know. And this guy was always up there, happy as could be, to show everybody something they probably had never heard of before. The man's name was Huel Hauser. The first video I ever saw was Huel Hauser went to Pink's Hot Dogs, and we went there pretty early on in my vlogging for uh, Puppy Day, or Dog Day. And um, today, Huel Hauser's cameraman, Louie, who Huel would always reference in his videos or in his uh, adventures, he would always reference Louie. Louie wrote a book, and Louie's going to be doing a book signing at Pink's today. And Pink's was the very first video I ever saw. I was actually flying out to Los Angeles to move here in 2000 at the age of 18 years old. And on the airplane, they showed Huel Hauser's Pink's. And I was like, this is pretty cool. And then as I lived out here, I would flip on and just random Sundays, they'd show Huel Hauser down at the beach showing people's beach cruisers or showing these old station wagons they had fixed up and they were taking down to the beaches every Sunday. Or he would go to a dairy plant or he would go to a little, uh, like little railroad um, set up in, uh, where was that, like Pacoima or, no, actually, I think that was in, um, I forget. Anyway, this guy was everywhere. And so I definitely compared to this guy a lot. He definitely inspired me. And um, since he's no longer with us, he'll passed away a year or two ago. And Louie's going to be doing this book signing. I figured I want to go see him. And I know a lot of vloggers that you guys all watch. Adam the Woo, Justin Scar, Carpetbagger. We've all watched Huel Hauser at one point in our life. We've all talked about it. And um, you never know. Like, just the four of us were influenced by him. There were so many people influenced by him, and you never know who could pop up at Pink's today. So we're going to go do that today. Days with Jordan the Lion, all of my ramblings. I'm going to get a shower. I'm going to see the Joski. Begins now. Little required palm tree action for the day. Well, he is home and he is tired. As soon as I picked him up and put him in my arms, I looked at his face and he was... His eyes were wincing so bad he couldn't even look at me. <laughs> they said that when he spends the night over there, he usually doesn't get much sleep because he walks around and I guess is probably waiting for me. I Just in case you wanted to see Ja P, I wanted to make sure you got that vision. Well, here we are, gang. In 1939, what started out as a little hot dog stand right here in this very same location is now the most popular hot dog stand in all of Los Angeles. People from all over the world come here. Like I said, even when I was flying here to move, they had a documentary of Huel Hauser. And if you can believe it, when that hot dog stand started, it actually started from one little stand that had a 65 foot um, extension cable that went all the way across to a hardware store over there that helped power their steamers. This is also a hot dog stand that has seen someone by the name of Orson Welles, maybe one of the most famous directors, writers, and actors of all time set a record for eating 18 hot dogs here. But the reason we're here today is because Huel Hauser did. And they actually dedicated 
the favorite hot dog of fuels after this episode to him and have a plaque to it. And Louie... His longtime cameraman is releasing a book and we're here to get it signed today. So I'm out searching for California gold with this man. Who? You. Oh, I thought that was one of the people how, I by for a second. How influential has Huel Hauser been in your life, Adam? Very, very influential. I have not seen every episode of California's Gold, but I've seen quite a few of them. Some of them more than once or twice, or let's be honest, ten times. Yeah. He kind of was the originator of the traveling around going to roadside attractions and videoing it format. With almost a Mr. Rogers type lovability. So, yeah, definitely. And we have decided that we're going to have the Huel Hauser specials today. Huel Hauser actually had one of the dogs there named after him. It was the Double Dog Chili Cheese. And also he like would always eat dog the... Double Dog Dare you to try it. <laughs> I see what you did there. And he also would eat the Guadalajara dog. So I guess we're going to be trying those today. Well, fun fact, if you watch that episode, he never actually ate the Guadalajara dog in the episode. He Although, never got to eat it. He well, got so busy interviewing and talking to people that they got cold, and I guess they just discarded them. He never actually ate it. Do you think when we're over there and we're doing our Hauser moments, do you think we should take the hot dogs out of people's hands and show them to the camera, like and then and then walk off with them and <laughs> and reposition people as we talk to them? I don't know if you can get away with that. I don't know if you can get away with that in this day and age. Maybe there might be a lawsuit filed. So when I came out here to do this vlog today, like. I actually didn't know about it until two days ago, and uh, I told Adam the Woo, and we decided we were going to come out and do this vlog because we were both big fans of Huel Hauser, and we just ran into somebody that knew both of us, and she's actually the person that posted on my YouTube to let us know that this was happening. So thank you. Pink's is actually so famous that Jay Leno brought Aerosmith here when they released their song Pink to make a video on for his show. Uh, Pink's is so famous that Rosie O'Donnell once ordered 1,300 dogs. I, I don't know if she was sharing them, if they were for other people or if they were just for her. And it's said that Tom Hanks, every time he wraps a movie, Pink's caters that party, that he is such a fan of Pink's. And when you go inside to eat, I know that I've been here before and shown you a few things there's actually signed photos from all the people that are famous for eating here. So let's go ahead and make our order and then go see Louie. Here he is. Now in case you were wondering, the original pink stand was turned into this. They actually went to a real building in the mid 40s. And the family that started it still owns it to this day and they own the property so there's no risk of them being booted. If we weren't here in honor of the Huel Hauser legacy, I'd probably actually get this. And it's hard to believe that a place that's so famous for their hot dogs is almost equally as famous for their hamburgers. There's the memorial Huel Dog Double Chili Cheese Dog sign. Two hot dogs in one bun, mustard, chili, cheese, and onions. Huel Hauser's favorite. We are finally here. And look at this. That is so cool. Well, Adam and I actually were standing in line and I saw the owner. She was up near the register, so I went up and told her what we were doing and that we were making uh, videos on the event today and on pinks, and she invited us up to the front of the line, got our food for us, and then is going to introduce us to the whole family outside, including Louie. So this is going to be a really great day. How appropriate. How many double chili cheese dogs can you eat? We'll find out. This is definitely not what I should be eating, but like I said, we're out here celebrating Huel, and this is what Huel ordered, and if I don't finish it, oh well, but 
Let's make it part of the event. Adam will finish it all, won't you, Adam? I'm just gonna eat my wine here. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I should have shown you guys how good this was before I started, but I've only had this for about a minute and a half or two minutes, and I'm destroying the Guadalajara dog. It's amazing. You, you know how actually how I found out about Pink's was when I moved out here on the air the the air flight out here they showed it on the plane. Oh, oh now that, that I didn't know. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I Louis, you're I, famous. No, I'm not. I'm not famous. I learned about Pink's from uh, when I worked at KCOP and uh, I uh, needed a place to come and eat. So he said, go to Pink's. And uh, sure enough, I, I fell in love with these hot dogs. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever eaten here. Really? Oh my god, it won't yeah. be the last. Luis. Luis. But you've been known to be called as Louis. Louis or Luis, either one. Now when Huel was here, did the, how much did the business pick up after that episode aired? He put us on the map. Put you on the map? He did, because Huel Hauser is so well loved. And anything that Huel Hauser loves, people love. <laughs> And now it's our most famous hot dog on the menu. Everybody comes in and has a Huel dog. Absolutely. And my favorite part of the episode is when he asks you to hold his hot dogs and then he just disappears. He just he just disappears and never comes back because he gets so preoccupied talking with everyone. Did he ever eat? Did he ever eat? Actually eat them? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. yeah, I think the, I think you probably ate them. A book that you're just releasing all yes. about your escapades with Huel. Right. How many years did you work with him? We, I worked with you for uh, 12 years. We worked together and we traveled up and down the state. And then of course we did the visiting series. Uh, for, Which is the episode that was here, yeah. the visiting yes. series. Right. Now the camera you use is down at Chapman University. I've been down there to see that one. Was there more than one camera or is that just the one camera you use for many just years? Just the one camera. Just the one. Well, I've seen it with my own eyes. Now I have a question. We noticed that the sign, the California Hulhauser sign is different. What happened to the original sign? Who has that? I think that's the same sign. Yeah. Is it in the shape looked, of California? Yeah, it looked like it was yes. a different, maybe a little different outline. No? Maybe see, it was repainted. See, there's a story to Could've that been. sign. <laughs> Gil came to Pink's, you know, with Luis, and we said we were so grateful and, and so forth. So we said, you know, we got to find out a way to bring Huel back. And we said, we just got to create a hot dog in his name. But he didn't know about it. So, you know, we, we put a curtain over that California gold sign. A pink and curtain. A pink curtain. And then we revealed it. And he went, oh, my God, he was stunned. And the first thing he said is, I got to call my mother back in Tennessee because this is bigger to me than getting a star on the Walk of Fame. That's so Never great. forget Made that. us feel great to hear that. He was fabulous. How are you tweeting? Hey, Finish tweeting. Well, I just got my book, and look what Louie inscribed to me. To Jordan, to the camera and the art. Louis Fuerte. And then I had the whole Pink family sign my book as well. Look at that. Hot dog. Way more complicated than it I think we're going to see Adam make a California's Gold audition tape. <laughs> as long as the numbers keep rolling. So you can be instructed, just like you instructed you will stay, or stay up here. I'm being, I'm being filmed, well, recorded, video recorded on my phone, from the man himself. This is amazing. I got my book signed, personalized, and you're behind the camera. So, but did he just, he moved all over the place. It was hard to keep up with him. I'm doing a Louis 360 over here. <laughs> you're, you're good at that. I'm Louis 360 and Louis 360 Adam. Chapman approached me when they honored you when, when he passed away about uh, writing a book about our adventures because it was just him and I and uh, I knew the quirky stories and funny things that would happen behind the scenes like uh, we did a thing with Buffalo Soldiers and uh, Huel says, well, what do you think, uh, Louie, about a closing shot? And I said, well, the sunset's beautiful, nice valley. How about you guys riding off into the sunset? So I give uh, action, they start riding off, and then Huel falls off a horse. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, so you never saw that on uh, on that episode, but it was a lot of little quirky stories like that that happened. And you received his uh, his doctorate. Well, I received it for him, but of course it stayed there at the university, and uh, it was uh, quite an honor and. I was quite shocked how many people wanted to know who this Louis guy was. And uh, he would uh, sometimes uh, come to me and says, you know, people constantly keep asking for you. I said, well, quit talking to me. <laughs> and and uh, so he, uh, he created a little monster for himself. But it, it was a lot of fun. Thank you for the beautiful history and the great time, Pinks. Well, good evening, Lionhearts. I just wanted to send a big thank you out to Ken Roberts for making a donation today. And I wanted to say, if you've never watched Huel Hauser, if you've never seen an episode of California's Gold or his series called Visiting, go on YouTube. They're all over the place. One of the things that I didn't like about Huel Hauser when I used to watch him was that I always felt like when Huel showed up at places, he didn't really know anything about the place. It was like almost like a tourist being dropped off somewhere and... He was just kind of like asking his way through this whole episode and over time I've come to kind of like that and kind of appreciate that about him was that he didn't really seem to know anything about what he was doing when he was there but he did seem to know how to ask the right questions to get good answers and I think that that's what people loved about him. I think that was a an everyman, everyday kind of quality that he had and I think that's something that even though I do research it is something that I do try and bring to this. When I don't know something, I do say, I don't I don't know, if you know, say something. Because I don't know everything. And I don't think anybody likes to watch somebody that does. But I think if you watch Huel Hauser, you'll see what everybody saw in Huel. And one of the cool things that Louis did say to me off camera was that he said, Huel made a lot of money doing those shows. He actually had a few houses, and he said, Huel took good care of me. Meaning, like... When they went out and filmed for that 12 years that Huel was very generous with paying Louie and sharing the money that he got off of PBS and those different companies that helped finance the visiting in California's Gold Series. So buy Louis' book, Louis Fuerte. If you've never gotten into the Huel Hauser legacy, maybe this will help. Sorry I stuttered there. It's a long day. <laughs> So anyway, Lionhearts, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that uh, you enjoyed meeting the Pink family. They couldn't have been nicer. They literally, as soon as they saw me and I started telling them what I did, they told me and Adam to get out of line, come up there, order our food right up the front. The food was on them. They could not have been a sweeter, nicer group of people. So go try Pink's if you've never been there. Have a great night. This was not a paid advertisement.